Hi everyone, we are asked to provide the electron configuration of oxygen in the standard and noble gas notations. So I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does this atom place its electrons? In other words, which shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found? So, to solve this, the first thing we need to do is look at our periodic table and see how many electrons our oxygen atom actually has. Looking this up, we know that oxygen is number 8 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our oxygen will have 8 protons in its nucleus, and therefore 8 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember that in the past videos, we talked about this handy device for remembering which orbitals have the lowest energy as those orbitals get filled first. So, since we have 8 electrons to place, let's have a little counter here at the top, and whenever we place some of these electrons, we can move them into the right spot. We always begin with 1s, and as we discussed before, s subshells can hold 2 electrons. So, that leaves us with 6 electrons left to place. Following our arrows, next we have 2s, which again can hold 2 electrons. Therefore, we have 4 electrons to place. Now, just remember Hund's rule, which states that each electron will occupy their own orbital before spin pairing with another electron. So, we will give each orbital its own electron first, and then the last one will spin pair and go with any one of these 2p orbitals, as they are all equivalent energy states. There we go, we can now rewrite the solution like this, and we have to solve for the standard electron configuration notation for oxygen. The noble gas underneath oxygen is helium, which has two electrons and a standard electron configuration of 1s2. Therefore, we can substitute this portion of our standard electron configuration notation and rewrite it like so to convert it into our noble gas notation. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of oxygen's electron configuration. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.